Ahoy there mates and welcome to my Logitech G920 wheel settings video for Assetto Corsa Competizione. Now for console this game has been out nearly a year, it came out on June 23rd last year and I'm finally getting into it and these are my wheel settings. For my steering wheel settings, force feedback gain, I have that at 85%, minimum force 4%, dynamic damping 95%, and road effects at 65%. For the advanced settings, yes, steering lock, I have that at 540 degrees. It is quite low. There are some people out there that are driving at 480 degrees because they just want that. <laughs> it, I've tried it. They just, they just want that seriously twitchy, sensitive steering. I can't, I can't do with that. I've got 540, 540s for me with the cars in this game. It has the most realistic feel and the wheel is turning near enough exactly. It's spot on to how the wheel is turning in the game. Now you can go as high as 900 degrees, but to me that is just mental. And your other option is 720 degrees. Well, you've got loads of options. You can go between as low as you want and as high as you want. It's totally up to you. 720 is comfortable with some of the slower cars, but as the cars get quicker and as your driving gets quicker, I recommend 540 degrees. It's up to you. You can change this to whatever you want. That is the setting I am most comfortable with. For the steer scale, I've got that 100%. Steer linearity, for me, with the linearity, this is turning a little bit too much before the actual car is turning in game. So I turned the linearity up by point not five just to get it to feel even better now on to the one that is an absolute pain to get right in most games using the logitech g920 because everybody knows the pedal is pants the pedal is poo the brake pedal on the g920 it's ridiculous I've set this to the best I can possibly do for this game without taking my pedal apart and using custom pieces that you can buy on Amazon, eBay, wherever you want to get them from. I have no intention of doing that with mine. My whole wheel set was a gift and I'm not, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not customizing anything. And the best settings, as I said, is 1.66. The brake dead zone zero and throttle dead zone zero. Now for the control bindings, the only one I've put in for a little bit more immersion is ignition set to X and the starter set to B. I've also put in increased traction control D-pad up and decreased traction control D-pad down. For the flasher, for when you're driving in these games and your blue flag's going crazy, for the flasher, I've got that at D-pad right. And I've got look back at D-pad left. Now one of the settings to keep mapped, I think this is the best button for this one, is the cycle UD MFD up. I've got that as this, is this the select button? I, know, I get confused because this used to be, this used to be the start button and this used to be something else back on other controls. And I have never got, this is the menu button. This is the double square button, double rectangle button. I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, this button. <laughs> I've got cycle UD MFD up as this button. I really should get to know what these two buttons are called after all this time. The Xbox One's been out for absolutely ages and I still don't know how to refer to these properly. Start, menu. But then that's the menu button. Forget it, forget it. This button, the double square button. Whatever. <laughs> And I've set nothing else. I've done nothing else. Everything else is unassigned. So that is the control binding and my force feedback and my advanced settings for the steering wheel. Going into the assists, I've got stability control turned off. Having that turned on in this game is just ridiculous. I did have it turned on. I turned it down to 60% just to see how it felt with stability control and the realism it just it loses it when you've got the stability control turned on you just lose it and then the ideal line i've turned that off i don't want to be having a look at a driving line i want to get used to the tracks myself and it's so much better learning the track yourself than it is following a line i've discovered that in so many of these games using the steering wheel and then that is it 
I don't think there's anything else that I've changed. Let me know down below if you have improved on my settings in any way, shape or form. Any feedback is truly appreciated. I want to say a massive thank you to all my channel members and a massive thank you to you guys for watching. Stay safe. Play awesome.